What's up guys, it's Cameron and welcome to Coog Life. Coming off a successful season, our number eight ranked Houston Cougars are a great watch whenever they hit the gridiron at TD ECU Stadium. Let's take it to the yard to see what some of the game day rituals are from our fellow Cougs. So, do you guys attend football games? Yeah, of course. Like every every other game, especially this last season, of course. So, and how about you? Yeah, I was there for all, almost every every single game. So, yeah. I'm here with Dan, one of the workers at Calhoun Rooftop. Hey, Dan, uh, how is game day here at Rooftop? Game day gets absolutely crazy up here. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big space outside on the roof and inside as well. It gets so crowded that it's hard to move. What do you guys think is the best game day food? Yeah. Best game food, uh, definitely, uh, definitely the chicken tenders. I think I eat wings, barbecue, I guess. All right, so do you have any post-game rituals after you're out of here and the crowd is gone? Uh, the crowd doesn't leave until about two in the morning whenever we win. And a crazy story about that, whenever we came back to beat Memphis, uh, that was the busiest I've ever seen this place. On away games, what are some good places to go and catch the game live? Uh, well, definitely rooftop here as well as the pub. I mean, I, lo I love going there. Should I just go to Pink's Pizza? Well, here is really a really good place too. But the best place I would see, I would say, go and watch it live. What are some of the exciting things that you look forward to entering the stadium? Well, first of all, we sell beer at our stadium, which is fantastic. Uh, the tailgate's always a whole lot of fun, and. Just seeing big plays is great. All right, cool. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. <laughs> So, we are out here trying to find some people to interview about football games. Um, so, let's check this out and see who can we find. Hey, sir, do you have a minute? No. All right, cool. No problem. Hey, hello. Do y'all have a minute to get have an interview? All right. All right, cool. How about you? Are you free for a quick question? No? All right, cool. No problem. No? Okay. That was a fail. Yeah, they're just not having it. And it's proving a little bit more difficult than I thought. When it comes to football games, what is your day-to-day -day ritual? Okay, when I wake up on game day, I like to make sure I have like my red outfit, everything matching, you know, and I like to wear my red lipstick. So I'm a commuter. I, I come here extra early, you know, get with my friends. We go to the tailgate also. I, I drink my water, <laughs> stay hydrated, and then we go in and we just get loud. And after your lipstick, what do you do after you're fully dressed? <laughs> I go to the tailgate and I have a good time, and then I go to the game and I make as much noise as possible. Wait, wait, wait. Back me back to this tailgate. Exactly what goes on? You know, uh, good activities, fun activities. <laughs> what else do you expect? After a win, what do you do then? You have to celebrate somehow. I, whatever my friends are doing is what I'm doing, so if someone's throwing like a little get together after the game, I'm definitely gonna be there. You ever head over to Calhoun's rooftop? I have not. You have not? You should check that out. And how about you, what do you do? I'm with her. So. Oh, all right. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited about the next season of Cougar football. Make sure you head on over to Calhoun's rooftop and check out all the liveest game day coverage. Like us on social media. I'm your host, Cameron, and this is Cook Life. There are several benefits to living on campus. Most important is that you are connected to everything that you need. How far is your property from the University of Houston? 10 minutes away. Only 10 minutes? 10 minutes. We're very close and we're five minutes from the medical center. Y'all never heard of rooftop? We yeah, I have, but I've never been. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I've never been. Let's